What's going on? Brian here from Answers in Genesis. I'm here again with Matthew, the supervisor here at the Creation Museum Zoo. Hey and we also got another special friend here. We got a we have a cool tarantula whose name is Rose. Is that right? A fuzzy. Fuzzy. Mm -hmm. But yep. there's Rose in the title somewhere. That's correct. Right? Yeah. Take it away. Tell yeah. us about Fuzzy. All right. Sure thing. So Fuzzy is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. There it is. Yes. Yeah, so somewhere. these tarantulas are native to parts of South America. They live in dry, arid regions and scrublands in South America. They are actually one of the most popular species of tarantulas to keep as pets. And their name actually comes from the sprinkling of rose or pink colored hairs over their bodies. And as a tarantula, tarantulas are actually distinguished from other spiders by those large hairy bodies. They also have large mouth parts called chelicerae that they actually use to chop up the, their prey okay. to help yeah. in digestion. And so all tarantulas have venom, but there are no known recorded cases of a fatal, a fatality from a tarantula bite. Huh. Yes. Okay. Um, and so they also have all new world tarantulas also have what's called urticating hairs that they can actually kick off these, the hairs on their abdomens. They can actually kick off into the faces of attackers. Um, and the smaller species like the Chilean rose hairs, they, they're a relatively docile species. But there are the Goliath bird eating tarantula, for instance, um, it has also has one inch long fangs. Um, and even though they're not fatal to humans, it's still going to hurt a lot if you get bitten. It's going to be like a large wasp sting. Um, and so they have those urticating hairs as well. So I would not recommend a Goliath bird eater as a pet tarantula. And we have as one, a, correct? We do have one in our collection here. And it is yes. ultra aggressive. Yes, yeah. she is very aggressive. This one, yes. comparatively, is pretty docile. That's correct. Uh, you say yes. you, can get, you can put your hand in there and that's okay? You can, yes. I'll kind of do that right now. You just can, really, yes. Uh, yeah, here you go. Yeah. So, just gently, not mm -hmm. going to go crazy. Yep. You said they're actually kind of fragile. They are fragile, yes. So, um, that's why I tell people if they're thinking of one as a pet, you have to be careful. Don't handle them too often. Uh, they can actually be killed from a fall um, from even a height like this. And so, yeah. their abdomens can rupture. Um, so they're actually quite fragile. Is it good right there? Do we need to shoot it um, down? Yeah, so I I'll actually... Wanna, I don't want to do that part. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just kind of get her to go back down. It's a very good climber, as you can see. And this is actually very nice, not threatening. I like spiders like this, right? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Now, I was telling you earlier, I've got a, a story about a big spider where I grew up in North Carolina. My dad and I, we saw a big spider in our carport one night. And okay. it was not as big as this, but uh, big for out in the woods in North Carolina, right? Right. And what kind of struck us about this particular spider is that its body looked abnormally big. Okay. And so we were kind of looking at it, and neither one of us at the time especially were big fans of spiders, and we decided it was time to kill the spider. Oh, no. I know. I know. <laughs> Don't I'm, kill I'm spiders. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have our pent and dust and ashes, right? Uh, but uh, one of us, I can't remember which one, we, we stepped on the spider really quickly, okay. and then it appeared it was a merciful to us. Death. Uh, yes, we tried. <laughs> but it appeared the spider exploded. Oh wow. Like literally what we saw had we stepped on the spider and then what appeared to be thousands of babies fell off the back of the spider. These oh, wow. the, the abnormal size of the body was was actually the babies. Okay. On the body, they fell off and there appeared to be hundreds or thousands of these little baby spiders going everywhere. Wow. So we hit it, That's they amazing. exploded, and they scattered everywhere right it wow. kind of freaked us out We're like what is going on and you know we kind of figured it out after a period of time and then of course now i know don't kill the spiders right? yes absolutely unless they're that's on it. you then that's a different story but <laughs> yeah. the um but my connection to our lesson is this in today's lesson we're seeing how persecution hits the church which of course persecution we view that as a bad thing but god used it for good when persecution hit this early church it caused the believers to spread from jerusalem to, to judea to Samaria. They spread all over the place. And as they spread, because of the persecution, they're taking the gospel with them. And so the church is spreading. Christianity is spreading as a result of the persecution. So God used a negative thing, which is persecution, for his glory and for the good of the church and for the good of the believers and the spread of the gospel. It kind of reminds me, I think, way back to the time of Joseph. Remember when he became the vice Pharaoh, even though his brothers had sold him into slavery, God had used all that to raise Joseph up to save the Jewish people, to give them a remnant. From that remnant comes the Messiah. And I love how, remember when Joseph, when he actually encountered his brothers and he confronted his brothers, he revealed who he was once he was vice Pharaoh, and he revealed to them who he was, and they're in shock, and he told them, don't worry. 
What you did to me, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. We see that again here in Acts. When the persecution comes, yes, the guys doing the persecution, they mean it for evil, but God will use it for good to spread the church out in this period of time. God can always take those things that are rough and use them for His glory and our good. This is a great example of that. Hope you enjoyed seeing the spider who's now hiding, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, don't kill the spiders unless they're an imminent threat to you. That's what that's our right. people say here at the zoo, right? Yeah, that's, that's a right. good policy to follow. Hope this is all helpful. You guys have a good day. We'll talk later on.